This is Computer Insider. I'm Bob Pritchard. Every once in a while, a new toy pops up in the market that's so numbing to the common sense neuron of the techie mind that we here at Computer Insider are forced to issue a new toy alert. Such a product may well have just come onto the market, but it may be not quite as spiffy as initially thought. First, let's talk about the product. It's the Garmin Hutter heads-up display. It sits on the dashboard of your vehicle and connects wirelessly via Bluetooth to your iPhone, Android device, or Windows 8 smartphone. Currently, it works with Garmin Street Pilot or Navigon smartphone apps. Now, here's how it works. Once you've created a trip using Street Pilot or Navigon, the HUD will then display turn arrows, distance to your next turn, current speed, and other information, either on the windshield using a transparent film or on a reflector that attaches to the device, both of which are included in the box. The HUD also automatically adjusts the brightness levels of the projections depending on whether you're driving during the day or at night. And the Garmin and Navigon mobile apps can complement the visual prompts with spoken turn-by-turn -turn directions. Garmin says that putting this information into the driver's line of sight is safer and less distracting than using a smartphone to get directions. HUD technology is not new. Originally developed for use in military aircraft, it's showing up in products like ski goggles and high-end cars. But since not all of us can afford a BMW or Lexus, Garmin is pricing the HUD at a more affordable $130, with the Street Poly and Navigan apps costing somewhere between $12 and $100, depending on which regional map you purchase. Now, here's your kick in the financial head. Who's going to spend up to $100 in a GPS plus $130 for the box when there's a great GPS bundled as a freebie in most new smartphones? Even a bigger question is why Garmin is marketing this product at all this way. Doesn't this whole project just smack of a desperate plan for a once great company who still has pretty deep pockets trying to deploy a strategy to save the ship? Do you see parallels between this idea and BlackBerry's launch of the Z10 device? Another question I have is what happens when other developers get their hands on this? Will we see drivers hurling down the highway with music lists or emails up on the windscreen? Or even more interesting, can you imagine the content after some hackers toss an algorithm or two into the equation? How do you spell distracted driving? Reporting for Computer Insider, I'm Bob Pritchard. Oh, oh.